Hello and welcome back to Stellaris. Uh, we begin here with the Desikin Imperium uh, being threatened from all sides. Uh, we got our mates here in the Valette Corporation uh, providing a bit of a buffer over to this side of the galaxy. But uh, things are getting intense with a bunch of wars breaking out last episode down here. And uh, we have got the big threat of these guys with the unpronounceable name which has just vanished ah uh, ox in the light toron void riders we are at the stage still trying to go through and grab the last of the systems within our realm we got five or so up here uh we got three one there we've got a few floating down here that i'd like to get we're also bolstering our defenses at uh te terra a ruse zandal Zandaban and Golba here. Uh, so let's continue snagging these uh, bits here, uh, bolstering our defenses. Now, I think we were playing as filthy pacifists. I don't know how to uh, work out what we had. Yeah, we are pacifists. Uh, so cannot engage in indiscriminate orbital bombardment. Cannot use unrestricted war policy, but I think we can still declare wars so long as we have a valid reason. Uh, so with that being the case, once we get these uh, sort of systems under our control and some defenses in place. Might go and try and uh, beat up some people just to see how the combat plays. As currently, no idea how to do any of that. Uh, once again, we are totally blind, so let's just uh, get to the game ticking and push forward. Now, what on earth are our ships doing? Uh, we've got three fleets currently flying about the place. That one there's got some upgrades, as does that one and that one. Uh, I'm not too worried about them. It's uh, these civilian ships. We've got two science and two constructors flying about doing all the hard work. The uh, Imperium Council or whatever it is, Galactic Senate, are voting on all sorts of garbage that I don't really understand nor care about. We've given some things a thumbs up and some things a preemptory thumbs down. Now so we'll just sort of see what they lead to. Grab a swig of coffee here and play it at about four in the morning after a sleepless night. Ah, which is always a great time to start playing an Iron Man game and something you've got no idea what you're doing. Uh, surely being half asleep will New not go wrong. Discovered. Oh, it's gone wrong already. I got my audio playing through the wrong source. Uh, apologies for a second here as I switch that over to the headset. Ah, there we go. I can hear it's got music and things now. Uh, we've got some more society research done. We've got cruiser hulls incoming. Got some shield hardeners coming up. Uh, food processing. Here's our food. We got Construct massive online. amounts of food. A hyper entertainment forum. I think we need naval capacity and defense army damage. Okay, we can see the rotten sting has. Uh, constructed something. I think they were building a uh, station there. Uh, we've got that built up. Uh, Paya has been explored. Let's build a star base up there. Hey, a private collector. A private collector on Uran Tak Prime has somehow come into ownership of an ancient precursor artifact believed to be Cybrex in origin. Despite government pressure, the collector has so far been reluctant to part with it. We could spend 500 energy on it. Uh, we could spend minus 100. I want all that influence for building stations. Uh, let's buy it. Now, we've got something that we can do with those artifact things somewhere. Was it in situation? No. New technology discovered. Was it in government? 
No. Ah, a colossal space battle occurred in high orbit over Vea 2A some 600,000 years ago with ships from at least five different fleets participating. Situation log updated. Remarkable. Uh, let's give it a quick pause here. I'm trying to work out where... Oh. Relics. This action must be performed as a decision on a planet. I don't know how. If we come to a planet world, uh, we got one here in Noxium. Uh, the planet is the Cradle of Decay. Relic. Decisions. Uh, cease robot assembly. Declare martial law. Population controls. Luxury goods. Launch anti-crime campaign. Actually, we need an anti-crime campaign. We got 48% crime. Uh, let's do that. Uh, and I still can't see. Oh, it sent artifacts to a museum. There it is. Can we do that as well? Or can we only do one thing at a time? Oh, we can do that. Alright, I'm happy with that. Worked out how to do something, perhaps. Don't really know what the results of it are. We've got our shield hardeners built. That's uh, so it. Quantum physics, basic combat roles, research alternatives plus one, or chemical plants. Uh, this one turns minerals into uh, volatile moats. Is that something we want to do? Let's get some combat rolls, I think, done first. Jump out of here. The Fallen, the science ship there, has mapped the Direp system. If we got anything else we need to do at the moment, we've mapped all these. Uh, one of our leaders has powered up. A loathe Sonia Live Rot. Become a perfectionist. All right, so is there anything we need to do with our science ship here? We've been. I think in Skia today are all the plants we need apart from that one. Although the other science ship is on its way out there. Uh, Non-aggression pact between the Villette Corporation and Suramo. Okay. So Villette and Suramo working together. Online. Uh, we've built something. That's the oh, rot in there. Got a mining station. What's this? Something's melting. New Commercial pact invitation. Okay, that's that. I don't care. Uh, tech research. That's our naval capacity and defense army damage. Not sure what a defense army is. Unlocks features epigenetic triggers. Allows us to remove pre-sapient traits from biological species. No, no. Uh, let's keep boosting our fleet limit. Uh, the other ship here, are you not actually doing anything anymore? Doesn't look like it. Come here and survey uh, the Akamar system. Uh, how many enemies do we have there? Not many. Uh, we can probably get a fleet together and go beat up those guys pretty quick. Who's over here? The Moist at Xanderbarn. Uh, Let's upgrade them. 
Uh, there's only two cruisers stationed there, so we should probably build some more things. Construction online. Uh, that one there. Let's go to the shipyard. Oh, they are building stuff as we speak. Online. Let's give them two, three, four corvettes as well. No, no, they were upgrading. That's what it was. We weren't building other stuff at the moment. And let's also build a frigate and a destroyer. Fleet enhanced. Very good. Uh, so we got no defense platforms Anomaly here. Detected. Quick one, do it. Let's build in one, two, three, four, five, six. That is fine. That's used up most of our alloys. Which is all right. We'll let those tick up again. Let's jump out of this screen. I uh, so we get the ships there, and then we'll come up here and take out that group of things. Uh, although it's difficult to accept, all indications point towards the asteroid Yamak's tongue being a coprolite, a piece of fossilized feces of some kind. It appears to be almost a billion years old, and much of the fossil's organic composition has been replaced by mineral deposits. Remarkable. New technology discovered. All right, I'm gobbling down coffee. Our tech keeps going up every time I look away. Uh, cold fusion, auxiliary fire control, plasma accelerator, cloaking field. Let's go with plasma accelerator. Our ship here, the Fallen. Uh, we've also got system survey research projects to do there. Uh, the other science ship. Got a special project here. And then the Rotten. Uh, let's have you come up here and build a starbase. And the Herald of Decay. New technology discovered. Build a starbase there. Science flying by. We've got some cruiser hulls. Let's upgrade to a star fortress. Let alloys build up a bit and then we will uh I was gonna say we'll upgrade these, but we will upgrade I think to the Star Fortress first and then we'll do the uh, weapons upgrades. Which is what I believe those are. I don't know what the puzzle piece is. Component slot available. Yeah, so this one's got two trade hubs. Uh, I don't think we need two trade hubs. Let's build a hangar bay. And a torpedo battery. At Noxium Station is still building our ships. No, 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 this is Zandelbarn. Yes, everything's built there. After analyzing the debris left behind from the ancient battle fought above Vaya 2, we have learnt that four alien empires contemporary with the Cybrex pulled their forces together in a desperate attempt to halt the advancing fleets of machine consciousness. An interesting find. Research project concluded. Our continued studies of the massive skeletal remains on Holdabana 5A have managed to shed some light on how the creature ended up on the moon. There are very faint residual energy readings that indicate some kind of dimensional portal. Sounding. 
Uh, so let's grab the fleet at Zandelbarn, which is the moist here. Uh, they can all be upgraded already. Do we have like an old Corvette pattern or something that I'm using? Fleets enhanced. Uh, so that fleet there, score of 1.5. 8.30, that's 1.6. We should probably get them some more ships, shouldn't we? Construction online. I'm, I'm not sure if it's like just a straight one-to-one -one power or we've got better weapons or what is. Uh, so let's come to the station there. And let's build... I wish you could see what's in that fleet from this screen here. Uh, so they've got two cruisers, one destroyer, three, four, five, corvettes, and a frigate. So let's build them a destroyer. We're nearly at our fleet limit. Let's just build them. How much do corvettes contribute to fleet limit? Uh, let's pause there because I don't know what that thumbs up means. A resolution is passed. That's fine. One. Two. How much do you contribute to fleet limit? Size one. Ship size one. They're going to go to 82 and they're one each. Am I looking at ship size? the fleet limit try to get some idea of how some of these mechanics work yes okay so ship size contributes to that naval capacity so we can build ship size one frigates are worth one as well construction online I don't know about that Well, let's build a frigate and we'll see if it is worth one. I might be looking at the wrong number. Seems weird that an upgraded bigger ship would be worth the same score. Unless, of course, they have different roles, which I just don't really know about. Like corvettes are used for ship to ship and frigates are used more for... Okay, so they are worth one each. Uh, that's alright, so we'll bump out that team there. Oh, uh, we've got a, another perk here. Let's come grab this Polytechnic Education. Think of us plus one leader pool size, don't really care about. Leader experience gain is okay, I guess. Not really anything I want, but I'm just trying to get this uh, slot here unlocked, and then we'll do something for the military. Either offensive or defensive, I don't know. What? Probably something defensive. Alright, so the Herald of Decay at Dorep here. Uh, let's have you build a mining station. Uh, the Rotten Sting. Let's have you build a mining station. The Fallen, you've done your research there, which is good. Uh, looking for anomalies and side quests we can hit up. I think this region of space we've been through, we haven't done that archaeological site. Let's go do that at Holdenar. And then the other science ship. Let's bring you down. We've done that archaeological site. I wish they would uh, vanish off because we've actually finished that one. Search the anomaly there. Fantastic, the ship's all doing stuff again. New uh, technology discovered. A rival, that's fine. We've got a plasma accelerator. These new accelerators launch projectiles of high energy plasma with improved containment fields. This results in less energy leakage. Okay. Reactor booster, gravity sensors, advanced shielding, quantum physics, X-ray lasers. 
build some X-ray lasers. Right, the Herald of Decay is done at the rep. Uh, let's jump up to a bling one here. It's worth 11 energy credits if we put in a thing. Construction online. Try not build a... Science grabber. Build a mining station. I'm trying to. Oh, oh. Got the wrong ship selected or something? Why can't I? Can't build a mining Main station there. <laughs> Why not? Okay, uh, let's give up on that one then. Let's get the Herald of Decay. Let's come down here. We'll grab this system instead. Uh, build a mining station. The Rotten Sting, you are doing good. Build a research station there, and then we'll go grab a lime as well. Uh, Senate voting time. If we've got anything new, we are giving a thumbs down on recycling. Uh, we don't care about buzzwords or administration insights. Establishes a Galactic Council of three members. I was going to abstain from that because I don't care. We are thumbs down on that, thumbs up on that. It all looks fine. That research is just flying by. I don't know if we're doing good, doing bad. Well, let's clear some blockers. We've obviously got dangerous wildlife on some of our worlds. Speaking of worlds, uh, the ones that online. aren't on auto build, like the Cradle of Decay here. I should take a look and make sure you are doing stuff. You look to be fine, doesn't look like we can upgrade anything and all your districts are cleared. Okay, we've got unemployed people. Yes, I know the red file icon now on Groomium Prime. They are currently building, so let's hope they are going to do something. And we should check out these worlds here. They all look good. The mummified remains of a single individual belonging to a previously unknown mammalian species have been found. Uh, the being is dressed in what appears to be a flight suit complete with a helmet and maybe a fighter pilot that ejected in some ancient battle. A tragic fate indeed. No blockers that need to be dug out. Nope. What's the yellow icon? Migrating. The planet has unemployed pops that will migrate. Uh, that's a weird icon. Resource storage full. We are full of food. Now, so let's sell. 10k food. How much does it cost us to buy gas at the moment? Buy some gas. And we've got no Zro storage. Let's build some Zro. Buy some crystals. Don't really know what we need all this stuff for, but we'll start stocking up on it. I assume it'll be useful eventually. There we go. We'll spend a pile of our energy credits there. So we'll kick back and let things build up. Uh, our fleet should be ready at Xanderbarn. Uh, that is the moist. So let's grab this moist fleet. Have we got someone we can put in charge? Got a renowned admiral here who is waiting for a job. Uh, so let's bring you up here and fight. Okay. The uh, Beyond's crew is reporting they have found something spectacular on Kagarten 8A. On the surface lies traces of an explorative expedition of another civilization left behind some well-preserved documents. The proposed action by Chief 
uh, blight wretches to send the text findings to our homeworld. We want some cash. I think we're good. Let's send Situation it to the homeworld. Log updated. Uh, let's get our moist fleet and come here. No. Um. I'm here. System is set as restricted. Okay. How do I unrestrict it? Like that. Uh, so now I can get the moist. Uh, where are we there? There's no route. What do you mean there's no route? You just come here. There is no route for the selected fleet to reach the system. Can you come? Yeah. Yeah. In there. In there. And we can't go there. <laughs> I'm running into weird stuff and I don't know why. System not restricted. Okay, our fleets may freely travel there. Okay. Restricted. Unrestricted. Unpause the game. New technology discovered. Okay, so we've got star fortresses. Uh, structural integrity, ion thrusters, uh, some research or assembly patterns. Let's go with structural integrity. I just don't know why the fleet can't reach there. I'm going to wait for them to move here. And hopefully that'll do something. Let's have a look at the rotten. Uh, you've built that there. Let's jump across and build a mining station. Construction online. Ah, good. Oh, that's the Herald of Decay there. Come down and build a mining station down there. This one's got eight Zero, but we still don't have Zero distillation. I don't know what tech leads to that. All right, waiting for our fleet to move in so I can remember to move them up here if it will allow us. Come on. Come on, fleet, get going. New technology discovered. Oh, so we do gene clinics, planetary resurfacing, starbase capacity, ancient rampart. Let's build an ancient rampart. Right, we can move there now. Interesting. Oh, the other science ship, are you doing something? You're not. Jump and focus. I noticed there was a planet over here with two things to do. Research project. Construction online. Okay, and we'll see here our moist fleet does up here at Kanam. Engaging hostile fleets. Right, the lasers go, everything lights up. Pew pew pew. Things happen. Uh, Leviathan defeated. Interstellar 
Anathunian state has vanquished an ancient threat. Amazing. Good for them. Actually taking some heavy losses here. Uh, yeah, we lost one Corvette. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I thought it was looking a bit more Construction online. dangerous than that. Uh, so let's get the moist. We'll return them back to uh, Zandaban here. They have achieved. Well done, guys, and well done to Judge Uldudagar. Idle leaders. Who have we got that's idle? We got this started. guy. Horrible. What are we going to do with you? You are a general. I think we've got a fleet without a, a crew. The Gutton Navy, I don't think, has anything to do. Let's put you... Is that you? No. No, we've still got people without a job. Uh, physics research, auxiliary fire control, chem plants, hyperspace slip streams, or field modulation. A new generation of hyperdrives capable of accessing the subspace slip streams that are present within hyperspace. Dramatically improved drives. Let's do it. Um, I don't, I don't know what you want to do for a job, mate. Oh, migration treaty. That's fine. It doesn't involve us. Oops, I've zoomed right out there. We can see the uh, the everything the universe has to offer. Right. The Herald of Decay. Uh, let's come to Paith and build an outpost. Archaeological events ending. Clearing away the rubble is a painstaking and risky business. Also very noisy. That sound effect seems much large. Ah, loud, louder than anything else. Workers and equipment have been hoisted down hundreds of meters to the dig site and excavated rubble has to be lifted out. There have been numerous casualties. That's all right. Keep going, guys. We believe in you. And the rotten here. Like we need a research station. Very good. Yeah, I new suppose all our worlds are looking discovered. good. Uh, we got some new uh, blocker removers. Do the automated planets automatically remove those? Don't know that they do. Uh, let's go with mining station output, a metal output, rail guns. Let's get some bigger rail guns. But if we have a look at our worlds, like Tacvin Prime. There. There. There, there we go. Research project concluded. Whoop. Uh, a whiff of something. Oh, it's a stinky box. The box is indeed a document of a sort. Science officer Blight Wretch admits that they had been hoping for a historical record of some other kind. Uh, the true nature of the aromatic box seems to be a collection of fairly short narratives which, going by the rapid changes in odour towards the end of each sequence, are intended to surprise or be interpreted as comedic or oh, comedy stink box. That is a treat. Right, let's get praised flying man, faith in science, research upkeep minus 20%. Right, and then we open up a new slot here. 
a KO Tech weapon damage. Unlocks additional effects for ancient ship components. I don't think we got anything to do with that. Lord of War, mercenary enclave capacity. Diplomatic weight from fleet power. Cloaking strength and encryption. Uh, naval capacity plus 80 and fleet command. Interstellar Dominion. Starbase influence cost. Claim influence costs. Reductions. Starbase is plus 5. Uh, Starbase damage and hull points. I don't really know what we need. I'm looking for something that either sounds fun and exciting or interesting. Executive of Vigor. Removed. Council agenda ready. Uh, let's do. Well, we've got our fleet nearly maxed out here, Locker so let's removed. get Galactic Force projection. Oop. Oh, pause the game. Oh, pause the game. Is that what I want? I don't know. I don't know. What if we do with Lord of War? We got a mercenary enclave. So our great admiral, uh, Euhychris, has passed away. Let's donate the body to science. Oh, we need a new Minister of Defence. Let's bring in... Uh, Judge Uld de Geer. He's 94 years old. I don't know how long that race of weird-looking, hairy freaks live. Um, so that is fine. Whoops. Council agenda ready. Let's launch the agenda. Give us a new slot here. A Keeper of the Vaults. And we can put in, uh, let's put in Blight Rich. he's the most senior. Whoops, he was already there. Uh, so let's put in uh, Live Rot, very good. Let's get a new agenda. Uh, I'm not making the mistake of taking We Come In Peace again. Superior colonies with colony development speed. More progressive growth. Evolving society. Let's get some more unity. I think we're struggling a bit on unity. And uh, someone's leveled up. Who's this awful jerk? Influenza filth rator. Uh, governor class or mining rush? Yeah, mining rush. And we do have room for another commander. But I think we are good at the moment. Actually, we're probably not. Let's get another governor in. Uh, recruitable leaders. We could have Sluggy the governor. I don't want weird aliens. Mining Rush and Righteous. You've got uh, Build Cost, District Cost, Build Speed, and Trade Value. Um, oh, hang on, I've just refreshed the list. Uh, righteous and Shipbuilding, no thanks. Minerals and Blockers, don't care. There's planetary armies and stuff, which I don't think I've seen or looked at at all. I don't know how it all works. Let's assume we're going to want some planetary armies at some point. Let's hire Rancy Cursewood. And then we've got plenty of worlds, I think, without a leader. Hmm. Where's Rancy Cursewood that I just hired? There. 
I thought I just recruited them. Alright, get there. Alright, so we've got heritage sites, hyper entertainment, gene crops, gene tailoring, planetary unification. Let's go with gene tailoring. Uh, now I want to get some of our star bases upgraded, starting at Terra, which I think is going to be the most threatened spot. Upgrade to Star Fortress. Idle leaders, who's idle? You. You're a general. I thought you wanted to be in an army, but when I tried to assign you to... Blocker removed. Captain Navy. Where are you? I don't understand it. He's a general, which goes in the... Uh... Oh, he's a... An admiral. What's a general do that if they don't go in an army? Blocker removed. Do you have to go in like a planetary Ooh. army? Um, hang on. Let's have a quick pause here and see if we can work out planetary armies. So if we come to a world, do it in our home world, it's uh far away from trouble if I cock something up. Bradle of Decay. Can you have a planetary army? This is where we manage all ground forces on this planet. This screen also tracks how much devastation or damage the planet itself has suffered. Yeah. New armies are also raised here by clicking the recruit button in the center. Defense armies are produced automatically. Okay, uh... We embark that where do they embark to? Deploy in orbit. Uh Okay. Yeah, and then you want a job doing that. Alright. Okay. three I just don't know what we what we need so I'll start mashing buttons we'll see what happens in a bit hopefully that guy will pop up and tell me that you've cocked up or done something right or done something wrong our clothfield our primus has become a researcher what well unclotted blocker removed new technology discovered Good. Uh, that's our railgun research. Let's go with battleships. Yes, please. Ship's not doing anything. The, uh, all right. The crew clearing the sinkhole on Dressel Prime has made a breathtaking discovery buried deep within the chasm under multiple layers of liquids and tightly packed sediment. There's a colossal alien space station. Architecturally stunning and built with technology far superior to our own. The station appears to have been crashed to the surface, surviving the impact thanks to its unusual shielding. Uh, we will excavate the site. Create Hidden Worlds Archaeological Site. Okay. Don't, I don't really know what that means. Oh, it gives us a dig site. That's fine. Uh, we'll do that. The 
Herald of Decay, come down here and snag Wilcom. And then the Rotten, you are our constructor ship there. Uh, can you come down? Why can't I build a, uh, a mining station there? I can't, I can't seem to do anything to it. Let's assume it might require a technology that we don't have. Oops, so which one was that? That's the rotten there. Let's have you come up and build a mining and research station there. Also snag that world Welcome there. Moved. And the other science ship. Do the anomaly, and then we've got another anomaly there. Another one up there. Uh, what's this? An event. Vas the Gilded. The sister's clothing and jewellery offer a glimpse into her opulent lifestyle. I offer my services as a governor. Uh, she's got... Diplomatic weight plus 40. Xeno linguist. But well, you would have been good, but we are full at the moment. Go away. Got no use for you. Construction online. Right. So the excavation has hit delays as the site becomes increasingly toxic the deeper we go. Keep digging, fellas. I'm sure you'll be fine. Hey, the Herald of Decay, you're doing a good job. Build a mining station. Okay, more people are joining the Galactic Council. Old pus seep there, let's make you. You're governing the Cradle of Decay. Uh, let's make you an industrialist. Made quite a few industrial buildings on decay. Blocker removed. Incoming transmission. Oh, hello. Who's this who wants to chat? Oh, the slug people. Hello. Uh, we aim to establish an embassy on Cradle of Decay. Sure. Do it, mate. You're either spying on us, in which case you'll see that we have mighty defenses, or you'll make friends with us. In which case you will see that, I don't know, we have some resources. Who knows? Just got zero clue how any of this stacks up versus anything else. Like these guys who are our friends at Vallette, can I see anything about your society? Uh, they have a superior fleet. And superior tech. Oh, we're right on the cusp, it's sort of flicked over there. An equivalent economic power. Okay. But are you guys doing good or do you suck? That's what I don't know. Uh, let's have a look at victory. Blocker removed. Yeah, so we're slowly falling down the order here. We've got more economic strength. They've got way more tech than us. I know, there's probably all sorts of ways you can optimize like tech gain and stuff. I just don't know what it is. Nor do I particularly want to learn. Learning all that stuff I find seems to uh, really ruin the gameplay experience in these type of games because you end up well, we'll just focus on tech, and that becomes your playstyle. So you end up doing pretty much the same thing every time. 
a living metal lakes investigation into the caverns below the surface of Gethrika 2 reveal them to be filled with a silvery liquid metal that alert that flows from the cavern in gleaming rivers pooling into underground lakes more surprising still is the discovery that this metal substance shares many key properties with organic life forms it remains to be seen whether this exceptional metal should be classified as truly alive how curious all right Harold of decay you're doing a good job buddy build a research station Technology discovered. All right, so we get some reactor booster, quantum probes, gravity sensors, cold fusion. We do research station output. Do it. I think we've got quite a few research stations. Thanks to recent advances in genetics, we have gained an extra trait point that we can use to modify and enhance our people. Construction um, online. Okay, where? Okay, okay, okay. We've gained a trait point. One of these things? No. Um. We've gained a trait point. <laughs> Species. Okay, um, modify the traits of the species. We can genetically engineer this species, modifying their traits. Okay. Um, choose a trait to add. Costs two, costs two, costs two. Is there anything that costs one? Costs three? Cost one, but I can't do it. Not enough trait picks left. Okay. So I can get rid of that natural engineers and get a... Oh, I don't know. It's too confusing. Go away for now until I've got something else I can work with. Uh, let's build an ancient refinery. Construction online. Okay, so this is our big base here at Te Terra. What we? We've got a hangar bay. Two gun batteries, a shipyard, ancient rampart. Defense platforms are a cost effective way to ensure our safety, but they need to be monitored from an operating center. Okay, let's buy an ancient rampart. And we do a torpedo battery as well. got the disruption field and an uplink computer maybe put in a comms jammer a fleet academy would give us uh, something hmm It's much more of a sort of defensive platform, this one here at Te Terra. So look at those. We should possibly build some, like, uh, ones with silos and uh, hydroponics and things for more production. And build them within our empire. Uh, maybe in a bit deeper around Noxium Prime or something, because this area here should be pretty well defended. Uh, we've got our Valet guys on this side. Although I don't know that, that they are the best ally because we are quite weak. 
being like 9 and 10 in the rankings. Can I see, just out of interest, like how many star ports and things you have? Empire size, 36. Okay, so their Empire District is 383. Ours is 280. So they are, they are way bigger than us. They're 20% larger than us. All right. New technology discovered. Okay. Which is coming from 36 districts, 44 systems, 10 colonies. We've got 67 districts, 56 systems, 8 colonies. 2 or 21 from population. They've got 178. All right. Um, I don't really know what looking at that told me. Hyper relays. Let's build some hyper relays. I'm just picking stuff with nerd names, to be quite honest. Uh, that's my strategy at the moment. Oh, the Herald of Decay is not doing anything. Come here, Herald, and oh, let's grab that one. Uh, we just finished some science by the look at that. The hole in the ground. Upon finally touching down at the bottom of the crater, a mind-boggling discovery was made. Giant twisted shards of some hardened, calcified organic material were found. Thousands of them, some were a few meters across, some the size of an orbital shuttle. As astonishing as it sounds, it now seems clear that the shards are the remains of some enormous hatched egg. Amazing. Yeah, so that is the uh, fall in here. Have we got anything else to do in this part of the galaxy? I don't think we do. That's a uh, nearly 4,000 strong space amoeba there. We should probably gather up the fleet to go do things like that, shouldn't we? look for things to go do with my science ships. A research project. Very good. Then what are you guys doing? Are you guys actually doing anything or are you just hanging out there? No orders. Search the anomaly there. And then the rotten sting, what are you doing? You're not doing anything either, are you? You're just sitting out here and I can't do anything. Could you come and uh, build a starbase there? So I've been, been recording an hour here. I should look to end the episode shortly. Let's try and end on something exciting happening. And if not, something exciting. An astounding display of competence. As I remember to upgrade the station at Zanderbahn will be the next most pressured station. I think next to these guys. Let's upgrade that to a Star Fortress. Construction online. Build a mining station. Uh, who are you? Non aggression pact. That's fine. I don't care. It's nothing to do with us. Uh, 
let's select Supremacy, which gives us master ship rights for shipbuild cost and build speed. War games, fleet command plus 20. And fleet logistics for ship upkeep and naval capacity. And then damage versus star bases, 20%. Orbital Bombardment Damage plus 20, Ship Rate of Fire plus 10. This is Unyielding. Hence Armies Produce Unity. And we take less Orbital Bombardment Damage. Uh, while a defensive war with another Empire, Ship Build Speed is increased. Defensive Zeal. And Fortress Doctrine. We are playing as a sort of peaceful nation. So perhaps unyielding would be better, or do we rely on these things? No, I think we should do unyielding. Council I think that's available. thematically the best one for our people. Council agenda. I don't know what this launched agendas. Click. I don't know what it means when it says council agenda available. Do we get something new that we could research? Because we picked up that? Who knows? Impenetrable border. Um, okay, okay, okay. So no, but we could do that next. That's fine. That is fine. Okay, so, so far, we got rampant unemployment by the look of this. Everywhere apart from the Cradle of Decay. Um, the holding screen provides an overview of all the holdings on this planet. This yeah. allows empires to place distinct types of buildings on each other's capitals and colonies. All right. The effects of these may extend to matters such as diplomacy, intel, and resource production. Oh, can we do something here then? Is that what you're telling me? Um, on their home world of... Raid station. Mm. No corporate holdings. Can we do? Doesn't look like we can do anything there, does it? No, I don't know. Let's put that in the too hard for now basket and come back to it in an episode or two where I might be able to make some sense of some things but it's a pretty optimistic might with the scope of this game uh, let's unpause let's get stuff going okay so we're not a mega corp nor are we an overlord how do we fix this unemployment problem we got Uh, greetings! A recent Vallette archaeological expedition on one of our planets uncovered several artifacts. Thank you, what a great gift. look at these sectors here I'm still trying to work these out I would really like it if you were just um mm. yeah, I thought I thought it was like 10 jumps from planet to planet which is one two three four five six online. actually five if we don't go that way six seven eight nine ten 
I thought that should have been able to be in there, but... I'm oh, sorry, it's coming from Noxium, isn't it? Not Hagerton. New technology discovered. Uh, Incoming transmission from this furry-faced freak. Uh, we've been hearing rumours about impressive Discant Imperium for a while now. We're pleased to make your acquaintance. Very good, rat man. Uh, we thank you for the gift. Construction online. Uh, the Star Nation, formerly known as the Discant Authority, which is not us, it's these guys in here who stole their name, have been destroyed. Good. God, there can only be one race of Discants. Uh, so... Purple rain. Images capturing Samovic's mesmerizing purple colored rain taken by the beyond uh, somehow find their way into the hands of the cultural elite. While the discovery is of no scientific value, the evocative imagery of the colorful precipitation sparks a minor renaissance. Remarkable. That's uh, so a wild unemployment problem. Um... Engineering research. Robot assembly plants. Will that give the people something to work at, perhaps? <laughs> I, just, I just don't know how to fix this problem. Uh, unemployment. See, this is the thing where I need the, um, the pop-up robot man to give me advice. So when I come in here and I see something like unemployment is there and I click on this, that needs to be a button I can click on. And the guy pops up and says, Oh, you got some unemployment. What you need to do is... Or this, or this, to... Uh, get it going. And I'll be like, Oh yeah, mate. Cool. And then I will do it. And then I'll have some idea how to deal with the problem in the future. Currently, it just pops up red here. And I have no idea how to fix it. So I'll just sit here and ignore it. New Which means discovered. the next game where I'm trying to improve, I'll end up sitting here and ignoring it because it hasn't told me what I need to do to fix it. Yeah, which I find is a lot of the problem with the Paradox New games. I'm quite good at telling you where stuff is sometimes, as long as you remember that this menu leads to the sub-menu that you want. But it doesn't actually tell you how to play the games. Uh, which is fine for me, because I've got all the time in the world to uh, sit back and learn something. But a lot of people just want to play a game through once, and then uh, they need to know how to do it, and the game just doesn't sort of teach how to do it. Basic cloaking. Listening posts. Don't know. Don't know what we need. Just picking things with sort of a a military focus of some sort. All right, so we actually don't have anything defensive here, and we could have some guys come in this way into Groomium. Uh, so we should probably look at maybe building another base here at Groomium. Uh, I don't know how to do it. Click on that. Hit upgrade. Oh yeah, I worked it out. Had to think about it for a minute. Oh, uh, that means we should probably have uh, an army here on Groomium. Evade all planets in Sector 2. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? The number of planets determines how many armies can be built in parallel. Planets can be excluded from the Assault Army Builder in the Army tab of the Planet View. Hmm. Construction online. Does that mean I can build two because there's two planets? Sorry, what was that? Oh, the um, station there. Alright, so you've got a hangar bay, a gun battery, a torpedo, a shipyard. Uh, end of the compact of Magsoth. Very good. Uh, 
Uh, right, people are fleeing toward us, which is fine. Okay, so here we should build an ancient rampart because this is going to be a defensive point again. And a... Another torpedo battery. No. Uh, buildings here. Yes, we're a number of things we can't build. Crew quarters. What will this give us? Provides accommodation support for spaceship crews. Okay, well, let's put in a crew quarters. Defenses. Let's build one of each again. And this team lost one of their corvettes. Let's build another corvette. I've got battleships we can build as well. We have to increase our fleet size to get those in anywhere. I think we've got some fleet sizes incoming. We've got refugees moving in. Disgusting. How big was this New army here? Um, that was a big space amoeba, wasn't it? Yeah. At nearly 4,000 strength. Oop. Research done. That's an engineering. Uh, weather control. Construction online. Living metal mega construction. Let's do it. Shows characteristics usually only seen. Um, okay, I don't. I Research project concluded. Really know what this is going to give us. Right, life on the now barren planet was sadly doomed, as if by some cruel stellar conspiracy. The dominant species on the planet barely had time to awaken. Uh, before they were wiped out. Well, bad luck for them. While the research expedition often yielded unexpected results, disk and scientists have now have access to unprecedented wealth of data. Oh, this is our mass extinction. Okay. We gain a big chunk of physics and society research, more influence and unity. Let's go with the research. There's other desiccan people. Disgusting. Unless that's us, in which case, hooray. <laughs> I don't know, it's all so weird. All so weird. I just don't know what's going on so much in this game. Uh, right. Migration treaty. Okay, it's nothing to do with us. Research agreement's fine. Okay. Alright, well, I suppose I should call it into the episode. Let's call it when something pops up here, or I find our ships aren't doing anything. Uh, so you have no orders. You were there doing that. Let's send you up here to explore the natural wormhole. I research the anomaly, and then we'll do the wormhole, because that sounds exciting for next episode. Uh, the fallen here. Uh, we got Alright, what are you doing, mate? I'm trying to do that special project. Repair automated shipyard. Research time 180 days. Well, I'm trying to do it. As, oh, it's one construction ship. Okay. Well, in that case, could you guys come and do that anomaly? 
Uh, the rotten is up here. Let's keep snagging these planets. Uh, build Starbase Outpost. And the Herald of Decay. Build a hyper relay. What's the hyper relay actually do? I don't know. Build a mining station. All right, so at this time, I think this is a good time to call it. Join me next time, and I will work out what a hyper relay does. Maybe check out a wormhole. But until then, I've been Mr. Gruffle. This has been Stellaris.